I have here one for everybody. It's a flying turns ticket. Now, the next question you're going to ask me is... <laughs> I had ridden flying turns back in the early 60s in Euclid Beach Park in Cleveland. I did always recall that that was one of the two rides that really gave me a thrill. The seed was planted and we just nurtured it. It is a remarkably gutsy thing for the family to do because there is no blueprint for how to bring back a ride that hasn't been built for 70 years. We've been making new tools because we don't have the tools that they used 70 years ago. And we had to come up with a lot of different stuff. This is the entrance into the Helix. It hasn't come along quite as fast as we had hoped, but the case being, we're almost reinventing the wheel. Nowadays, a lot of people are interested in building signature rides that are the tallest or the fastest or the longest. This is something that it has been gone for so long that most people have forgotten about it. People who remember it, remember it very fondly. I see this being a special ride because it's the only one of its kind, the only one in existence. I think it will be unique, it will be traditional, and it will be an experience that you can't get anywhere but here. How many times can you answer, when is it going to open? How many times can you address the person who says it's never going to open? We had faith all along the way. Kids were in junior high when Canova started this project, and this is seven years later. Some of them are out of junior college already. <laughs> so it's short lifetime has gone by for a lot of people. 